Our students are really engaged and uh, you know you can see that as you walk around the classroom they are interacting with each other, the teachers are excited and they're motivated to learn. STEM has that key in enabling our students to be prepared for those future professions. We have a cohort of year sevens and year eights and the idea of that programme is to not only link real world problems and solutions for those students but allow them to be creative and innovative. Oh it's incredible so the kids have you know four lessons of science and they have four lessons of maths and they have two lessons of IT so in their science and maths classes the, their curriculum is enriched you know we've got partners who come in scientists who work with them mentors. If you could all go into the chatterbox one because it would be better to fast to fix this together. We launched the institute within six months we put a focus group together um, with some key members of staff that we knew would you not only drive this change but be enthusiastic. We, we planned a timeline, we got involved the you know the key parties and we and we literally just pushed through and we, we made we made it happen. With our first year of the STEM Institute um, we had a percentage of 30% girls, 70% boys. Um, and we saw a need uh, that was common among all the STEM TDS partnerships that this engagement of girls was something that we needed to bring up to parity and it's something that we're very passionate about here. I like how you get to have your say in what you make so if you want to make like a robot you can make it how you want to make it. It's always that saying you know you can't be what you can't see and I think girls need to see that they belong somewhere before they'll actually pick it up. two really big successes have been a STEM Girls Day Camp. We've had 60 primary school students from years four to six come up for a whole day. We only had female mentors. We really wanted to push that and make sure that the girls could see that women were in these fields as well. From all industries, and I've had people since come up to me and say, can I be on your list for the next one? People who weren't part of the last one because they've heard such good things about it. The other thing we did a lot of work on was STEM Champions workshops, which we actually brought students, primary school students, and their parents along for some after school workshops. A lot of questions from parents about why STEM was important, what we were doing with it, where careers led, um, and some parents who work in those fields have said, can we be involved in the future as well, which is really good to see because that builds our community. We have 100% of parents say that they learned more about why STEM education was important for their children and why STEM was important for their future careers. So we're starting early getting them to realise these things in that sort of year four, five and six level. The TDS helped um, on a number of ways, allowing us to collaborate, share and linking us with other professionals in the field and other schools across the state to share best practice. Part of the whole school process was last year we inducted all teachers into our creative lab which is our maker space that has our 3D printers, our Lego robots. So all teachers have had at least one STEM activity um, and at least one STEM induction into one of our facilities. So the STEM Expo, uh, we um, essentially we run a whole lot of hands-on sort of uh, interactive sort of uh, stations where students can sort of walk around and then play with microscopes and play with sort of you know different chemicals and stuff like that to, to see some of that really the really the being bang sort of exciting sort of part of science. What we're going to have to do form the end of your why we've gone through it and snipped off the end. We've now set aside time in our uh, in our year to actually have specific pro problem solving projects where the kids will have a whole week to just work on one project. What I'd love to see is when students go through to senior school, to university, to industry, and I'd love for them to come back and become mentors. And you get that beautiful cycle where everyone is working as a community and we're capacity building. It's something that's always going to be interesting and it's definitely going to be something that's going to be big in the future. So it's always good to have the knowledge and extra. It's always interesting to watch too. It's been amazing, the smiles on their face. The kids come up and thank you afterwards. That was amazing, can we do it again? How into it they, they really are and how excited they are about it. I love that.
it's that that feeling, that buzz. You see the the you know the creative chaos in the lab, and then you end up with these beautiful projects that students love talking about. Yeah, it's that providing opportunities for students to to get excited about STEM careers.